Hi there. I'm presenting our study into human nature relations in urban gardens, explorations with camera traps. The authors of this study live in a city with a fairly large amount of wildlife. We have possums that visit our yards and roofs, a multitude of birds, insects and reptiles, bats that fly across the city at dusk, as well as those urban icons, rats and other rodents. But looking at this Google Earth shot of Brisbane, you can see that despite some large patches of habitat, a great deal is fractured across parks and private gardens. William Odom, back in the 80s, spoke about the tyranny of small decisions, or the ways in which unregulated everyday decisions can accumulate catastrophically. I'd like to also think the opposite is true, and that by better understanding what people want to know about their gardens, we can help shape decision making that will lead to better human nature relations. Now, what better way to find out things than to plant a camera in your backyard? There are many inexpensive cameras on the market, as well as DIY options. Most commercial cameras produce still images and video with audio and are triggered by infrared sensors or can be scheduled. So in short, we gave commercial scout cameras to people who had gardens and some interest in learning about them to better understand how do people use these and what are they interested in? And from that, what does it indicate about new technologies we might design to improve human nature relations in cities? We had 10 adult participants, and of these, four families with children. Each participant filled in a diary and was asked to take part in an interview at the end. We found that people were producing hundreds of unsatisfying images, like the one on the right, and that the labor of editing and experimentation to produce something rewarding, such as an answered question or a memorable image, required sustained engagement through the learning curve. So how can we design for sustained engagement with nature sensing? While we have many ideas, we believe that some of the most fruitful involve linking sensing to other practices of care, such as gardening, time with children, or keeping a diary. Secondly, we learned that the kind of media that was produced influenced understanding of animal lives. In particular, video with audio provided a sense of mystery and clues as to lives lived just out of view. These observations, made in real life and matched with digital media, led to contemplation of animal relationships with other animals, the environment, and people. And these thoughts were typically being discussed in households rather than online with the wider public. So we asked, how can we design for these relationships? We suggest that by making local nature data part of a home life, we built kinship with local animals and an appreciation of their needs. We also found value in focusing on children's experience of sensing technology and the possibility of making it more accessible and engaging to them. Finally, it was not our intention to learn if cameras made people care more about the wildlife in their garden, but we learned something about care regardless. Human nature relations were informed by pre-existing interest and knowledge of ecosystems. Cameras added information that informed both care and garden management decisions. A hard line was drawn between care for native or cute animals and rats. Rat shame was prevalent. What is most encouraging is that new questions and interest and some care about wild animal lives arose through enhanced observation. design technologies that increase curiosity in more than human lives. We noted participant interest in shots where animals appeared to be staring into the camera and suggest that the gaze itself could be useful, for example, by reconstructing animal viewpoints. In summary, we find further value in designing technologies for smaller and localized nature cultures, such as private gardens and households, even neighborhoods, as well as in exploring other viewpoints, especially those of children and animals. In particular, sharing nature data within families can seed interest and care for nature in future generations. Thank you.